Each week, American History TV's Real America brings you archival films that provide context for today's public affairs issues. Anarchy, the breakdown of law and order, a chaotic reign of terror, mob rule and rioting, the collapse of government authority. These phrases ring strange in the ears of Americans and for good reason. Through the years, America has stood as the world symbol for law and order. Our government is responsive to the will of the people. Our courts and legislatures provide the mechanics for a peaceful redress of grievances. And the policeman on the corner has traditionally been looked upon as a friend, not as the instrument of a tyrant. Anarchy? Well, that was something we read about in our newspapers that was always happening in other countries. Perhaps the people in other countries had just reasons to riot against their governments. After all, many of the nations of the world are dictatorships in one form or another. What business was it of ours, anyway? Newsworthy, perhaps, but it could never happen here. Then, in the summer of 1964, widespread rioting and looting suddenly broke out in Harlem, in Rochester, in Newark, in Jersey City, in Philadelphia, Cleveland, and Chicago, all within a few days of each other. It was as though an unseen hand had given the signal. The degree of communist influence in these riots has been subject of much discussion and controversy. For a solution to this controversy, let's review the events of recent years, both at home and abroad in light of the Communists' own plans for world conquest. Divide the people. Split them into quarreling factions, fighting among themselves rather than their common enemy. This is the comrades' first rule for the conquest of any country. For well do they know from long experience that the nation so divided and weakened can be easily conquered from within. <laughs> 